How's it going? I'm Visionary, this is Visionary Dex, and today I built a coin printer with Swindler's Den. Now, this deck abuses a little-known combo that's been possible for a while in-game, and that is shuffling coins with Evil K. When you shuffle a coin into your deck, it keeps the number of coins that you had while it was in your hand. So let's say you have eight coins in hand, shuffle those into your deck. Every time you draw those coins you shuffled, you're gonna draw eight coins, which is kind of crazy. You're basically just able to print mana with this deck, and printing mana plus infinite draw with Swindler's Den, I feel like there's gotta be some way to just make an unbeatable deck here. Now, I'm not gonna say this is the perfect list, but this is the best list I was able to find over my testing of today's games. Seems like the priority is just to get as big of a coin stack as you possibly can by like turn five, turn six, uh, drop Evil K, hopefully it's like five, six, seven, eight coins, something like that. You drop Jack on board, drop Swindler's Den as well, and then whenever you play your coins, uh, Jack is just gonna go sky high on attack. Because he gets plus one, plus O oh for every single mana you refill, if we're printing coins here, uh, you can imagine he'd get pretty big. We're also playing three of Station Archivist in this deck, which is one of the best cards for this combo, just because it lets us copy a coin that is in our deck without actually like taking it out of our deck. And because we are printing so much mana, it becomes very, very realistic that we can just play Knuckle, play Mako, and then play this guy and rally. This is the kind of deck you can actually play the full knuckle combo in. I don't know if this is the strongest win con. I'll probably end up like cutting knuckle and throwing in Avatar of the Tides, Back Alley Bar, Mirai Great Mother. There are so many different ways you could just like copy paste this deck code, throw in a different win con, and it would probably still be just as good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed today's games as much as I did recording them. Without further ado, here's game one. Nar and Italy. All right. Um, to start things off, as many coins as possible would be ideal. I'll actually keep this whole hand. This might be a little bit greedy because, like, there's a lot of pieces we need to get to make this deck work. I'm going to keep this whole hand. This is just, like, we're good on coins for the whole game. This might have been a little greedy. <laughs> actually, like, I probably shouldn't have kept both jacks. I should have rerolled one for sure, but... Yeah. You'll live and you'll learn. I, I probably I do need more like two drops. Part of part of this deck being good, I probably need like Grumble Slug. We need like a good early game something to pop barnacles on. I guess I'll just practical perfectionist barnacles. This works. And then a bunch of evil K's is pretty good. This can actually help us to go infinite in some ways. The more that I can shuffle, the better. So I guess it's it's not bad. Booga booga. Booga booga. Somebody's got a little booga booga. And it ain't me. Uh, there's no way he sacrifices knack attack here. So this is just a nice five damage to face. Our deck is just like supposed to deal early game damage. This is good. I forgot coins are focus. That's a little awkward. That is a little bit awkward. Uh, he is playing super slow here though. So I guess that's good for us. I'm just going to drop Jack. Dude, it's it's like it's like he knows what deck I'm playing and he's perfectly designed this deck. So I can't actually I should have risky ventured here. That was the play. I actually threw. I was supposed to risky venture because if this is deny guy, he just went down on deny. Six, five elephant. What is what is six, five elements cost? Five. So he could transform here if he has six, five elephant. Uh, it, play it now, it says risky. That's true. This is the riskiest venture I'll ever get. I'm going for it. He had one blocker. So Jack would have died if I if I attacked here. Okay, three coin. That's good. That's already very big. Our goal is now just to find Swindler's Den. If we just find that, we have everything we need. We're just going to print coins and then go infinite. I'll get a free coin off of this. So that's sick. Ain't no way he blocks. Okay, wallop. It's good to get that out now. I'd rather that happen now than later. And then we'll probably just spend this on killing his 5-3. Hopefully that's not deny. <laughs> if that's deny, then we've got a problem. Yeah, so I think we're just going to try and get this coin stack as big as possible. And then we'll just shuffle it and we'll go insane. We'll go bonkers. We'll go bananas. This is plus one. This is another plus one. This is going to be five. Six, seven. I think seven is good enough. I think we, I think we start shuffling once we're at seven coins. Oh, but I won't get to play this. 
Is five good enough? I feel like five coins is not enough. Do I really want to shuffle five coins? I'll actually go for it. I will. Hey. I'm supposed to get a coin here. <laughs> this is supposed to be... This is supposed to be a trade where I get a coin. What gives, man? That's not very nice. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... I'm gonna clockling. I'm gonna see if we can find Swindler's Den before I start shuffling more things. No Swindler's. No Swindler's Den. Okay. Knuckle's still pretty good. I'll go for a Knuckle. Uh, do I actually... Can I play this on turn 10 now? No, this is still 11 mana total. Yeah, one of the things about Knuckle is, like, unless he's zero cost himself somehow, you can never get to this guy without playing some coins. Uh, obviously I'll drop this on our elusive. I don't know what he was... What was he about to play there? Phytos? Bro. He's taking out my chomp blockers. Once you spend a coin, it won't reset them all? No, I've tested this... I've tested this before. Um, it definitely, it definitely works. I promise. Let's just okay. Let's let's attack. Let me see if I can just get away with dropping an evil imperfectionist and nothing else this turn. I have a bad feeling he's about to go like very big, but I want to just like do this and nothing else. Will he let me just do this? Oh. We forgot. We did actually. We forgot Sump Monument. Very important part. Although, no, if I play Sump Monument, then I just draw my mushroom. We can't play Sump Monument. That doesn't work in this deck. I'll actually. Let's make him think he has a good open attack. If we can bait him into thinking his open attack wins him the game, that's good for us. Maybe he doesn't open attack here. Okay. And I'll just play Mirai Warden. This is good. This is good. We've got. We've got some spicy stuff about to come down. All right. You have no clue. You have no clue the amount of spice that, that is about to unfold. Um, do not in my coin obliterates itself when you draw. Mushrooms will be gone. But my entire deck's not... Well, that's a good point. My entire deck's not going to be coins, though. Okay. I'm going to pull a coin with Station Archivist. Please pull a coin. Please pull a coin. There it is. And this is the moment. When five mana coin meets five mana coin... It becomes 10 mana. <laughs> and now we just shuffle these, and my deck is full of 10 mana coins. It's beautiful. It doesn't add up. What's not to love? Nice math, thank you. I went to school for that. <laughs> um, huh. I guess we'll go for this. I'm kind of dead here. But, like, I have infinite money, so how could I lose? You know? Rally. Can I rally this turn and Jack? Uh, here's the here's the pro oh my i don't think we play this turn i think we wait we do we do all of our things next turn i'm gonna pass i'm gonna put this on something i'm gonna pass i could i could coin do we win if we rally this turn i don't think we do i'm gonna pass he has a javelin toss i want him to play it before at barnacles okay great <laughs> he got rid of the unit that can't mango block them. perfect mango them <laughs> i'll drop this I do think we just win next turn. I'm gonna pass. I don't think we need to do anything here except just drop Jack, drop Swindlers, and just, like periodically empty our hand. I'm gonna shot. <laughs> <laughs> literally the best top deck I could have gotten. That's perfect. That's fantastic. I literally just have free mana for the rest of the game. I know this doesn't even seem that nuts. I know I'm at 2 HP, but I literally just win now. I literally just play the rest of the cards in my deck this turn. Unless I'm mistaken. All right, here we go. Are you ready? You ready to have a little fun? <laughs> Are you ready? I hope you're ready. Does this actually burn me? I think this burns me. I gotta play Knuckle first, right? I think we play Knuckle now. Now I play Coin. Hey! You're not supposed to play. You're not supposed to bite Knuckle's ankles. Knuckle's supposed to bite your ankles. All right. Uh, 11 mana. It's almost like I'm playing Karma Set. This is kind of weird. Um, and I think we just, I think we play Swindler's Den now. I have two cards in hand anyways. This levels Jack. We play Station Archivist. We dig for a spell. Even if we don't find it, we'll find, like, Warning Shot, and we'll still get, like, draw two before we find coin. We literally just, like, infinite off of this. Okay. This is fine. So Warning Shot, zero mana, draw one. This was draw one. 
Surely I find a coin. I just need to find one coin. I shuffled so many in my deck. There's no way we don't... Okay, well, we get more coins off of this and Jack. So I just gotta play the coin that this gives me. And we draw one. I'm not gonna attack with Jack. How did I... Wait, how did I brick so hard? What in the world? <laughs> how did I brick this badly? Okay, he let me hit for free. This is, he's so naive. He has no clue what's about to happen to him. Just you wait until I draw my 10 mana coin as my next card. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, that's game. It's over. GG is just like that. What did I tell you? You guys didn't believe. You guys didn't believe in this deck. <laughs> you guys thought this deck was copium. I'm sorry, guys. This deck is so far from copium. You have no clue. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, um, I think, I think we might be able to hit lethal with this deck. I think we might find a way to do it. <laughs> Nothing's more exciting than an unsolved mystery. <laughs> this is so much mana. I, I haven't even played by Zev yet. Just you wait till I play by Zevi. <laughs> Another coin, please. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Zevi. How much is that? 10 mana? That's nice of you. You shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. You could have rallied. That's not time to rally yet. Oh, that's nice. Wait, how did my coin get zero mana? That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I can. You tell me I can. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah, we'll. Ra <laughs> we could have. I mean, it's not hard to see how we hit lethal there. GG's. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty good. Uh, I think, so we want to start off with as many coins as and as many coin shufflers as possible. Um, barnacles, great. If I could find, like, coral creatures, that'd be ideal here. Avatar of the Tides is giga saucy with Jack. I, Avatar of the, I've been wanting Avatar of the Tides to be playable for so long. You have no idea. You are about to get thrall. Ain't no way this guy is about to thrall me. I see no possible scenario where I'm about to get thralled. That just doesn't happen. Ain't ain't no way a thrall hits this guy's board at any point during this game. I don't believe it. I don't believe a thrall will drop on his board. Insert serial spit take meme here. He played a thrall. What? If you blow all your spell mana every round, Avatar heals Jack three. I, I feel like almost the, the like solution of this deck is how do you give Jack extra health? Is there any good way to do it? I don't know if there is. Also, this is the biggest risky venture I've ever seen. Insta risky. Insta venture. Insta venture into the unknown with a slight dash of risk. What am I saying? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. Okay. I mean, I calls it like I sees it. We getting kind of rich, boys. We getting kind of rich. I feel like we're just about to destroy this Thralls player. He's about to have no clue what hit him. Actually, I should have played Angel here. Wait, I, that was a misplay. Angel would have been much better this turn. I should have gone for the, the open attack, Angel. It is what it is. This is still pretty good. Of course he has- dude, of course he has a sec- no. Second rock bear. This is fine. I'm, I'm about to shuffle how many coins? One, two, three. Six coins. That's plenty. I think we send it. Six coins is good. For our first shuffle, we, we send six coins. Swindler's Den will hit the board very soon. Okay, he didn't even kill this. So he gave me- he gave me an extra coin. Off of this guy. That's huge. Because he doesn't die this turn. I actually don't see any way this guy wins. With a start like this, I think we just... I think we win every game. Am I wrong? 
Maybe I drop, do I drop a jack? I feel like we drop a jack here. Let's maybe, okay, let's, let's evil and perfectionist. I'm going to shuffle coins. Ah, but we could play angel. Do I get greedy here? I can't get, I can't get too greedy. I'm going to get greedy. Oh, I'm, I'm shuffling coins next turn. I'm not doing it this turn. I'm shuffling next turn. Watch them have 200 bears next turn. Literally impossible. This man cannot have 200 bears next turn. They do get three. No, they don't get three bears. They will not get three bears. You're insane if they think that somehow they're going to have three bears. Also, this is why we wait. Good things come to those who wait. Look at this, dude. Look at the coins. Eight coins. That's what I'm talking about. We could even we could have more. We could have more coins. I think we go for like nine. What was that with the shepherd? I don't know. I actually have no clue. That was actually just like genuinely one of the worst things he could have done. Because now these don't auto pop. Like, yeah, actually legitimately, what was that? I couldn't tell you. So what's what's the priority here? We have to shuffle. I'm gonna open attack. No matter what, I'm open attacking here. We're gonna rally. We have Knuckle, so we'll, we'll go for as long as we pop off. Okay. That's one freeze down. It's fine. Just go for it. I'm just like, I'm trying to think about what happens if I Swindler's Den and I miss and my entire hand gets discarded, you know? I feel like we could wait until next turn to Swindler's Den and rally then. I feel like that makes more sense. I'm gonna shuffle this. No more K. And then I think we. I think we refill as soon as we've spent enough mana. There's no there's no great order of operations here. I'm gonna drop this. You actually created the monster, wait till people I know, I mean it's going to be broken. This deck will genuinely just be broken at some point, and there's nothing you can do to prevent that. Alright, I'll do it. Whatever. You guys you guys want the rally this turn? I'll hit you with the rally this turn. I got you. I got you. If I miss, I swear if I miss, if I miss, it's your fault. If I miss. He let his guard down. He only has two blockers. This is like the perfect time to attack. It's just, here's like, if, if this misses. Okay, warning shot. We just need to find one coin. Just one coin. Just one coin. See, I should have... Why did I listen to you guys? I don't know why I listened to you guys. It was stupid. I had the golden hand. That's one of my two knuckles in my entire deck. Gone. Why did I listen to you guys? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue. Now, formula. <laughs> formula is a pretty good top deck. I'm just saying. Draw three. Probably does still win us the game. In a lot of ways. Uh, block. 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 And like we do get we do get three coins off of this, so probably still will find a way to win. <laughs> but it was definitely not the move to the Swindler's Den last turn. We went a little too far. Went went just slightly a little bit too greedy there. But yeah, it's fine. At the end of the day, you know, we're still gonna win. That's what matters. All that matters here is that we win. I mean, I guess I'll just drop this now. <laughs> yeah, we do just- this is insane. This is actually just nuts. This is just ridiculous, dude. Like, this is not okay. This is a problem. <laughs> Time trick? Well, I think what we do here is we drop barnacles first. I just get both these out of my hand. Knuckle three of? He's a two of. He should be a three of. He definitely needs to be a three of in this deck. Oh, avalanche. Oh no. <laughs> My game. It's over. He has avalanched me. We'll drop this. I just like... I want to make sure we can refill coin as quickly as possible. Because if I top deck another coin, we're going to be burning mana, right? We need all rallies. BB. I, there's so... Guys. There are literally infinite... I cannot stress this enough. There are infinite ways you could build this deck. I truly mean it when I say it. There are infinite ways you could build this deck. Uh, I actually don't know who's, like, the bigger priority here. I'm gonna kill his 8-1 just so he can't trade with Jack. Although, I guess he couldn't block it. No, I should have killed Lissandra. But, I mean, like, 
there's there's literally no scenario I don't just win this turn. It's just how long does it take me to find my one other copy of Knuckles? That's the question. That is the only question. <laughs> this is just stupid. This is just like actually genuinely broken. I'm not gonna play I'm not gonna play second Swindler's Den. Before you ask, no, I will not. Hey. Oh, there we go. That was fast. That didn't take so long. That did it. <laughs> he doesn't know. He doesn't even know. He has he has no freaking clue, man. Let's just print. I want to see how long he sits here. I'm just curious. I'm just a little curious, right? That's all. That's all it is. That's all it is. I'm just a just a tad bit curious. <laughs> no thanks. All right, every full sixteen mana. Why not? Thirty-two, <laughs> thirty-four attack, Jack. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's good. Can I? Can I get? I'm just curious. Like, can I get one more coin? That would just be sick if I could just hit like one more real quick. Can I just like? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm in. <laughs> no! Oh. I thought I burned it. <laughs> Keep it <flying. laughs> you with Dude, yet. what in the world? 42 attack jack in standard. Oh, wait, we, we can go more. What am I doing? Excuse me. We can go more. We can go higher. What was this, 45? Yeah, okay, um... Get in, get in early. All I'm gonna say on this deck is get in early. Get in before this is the deck literally everybody is playing, <laughs> because now that this exists, there's no reason to not be playing this. Climbing to master with this? That's, yeah, it's the plan. Oh... Against this deck, though, I don't know. Can we do it? I think we want to go, like, laser focus... Mischievous Mirai, Caustic Riff. I think that's what wins us this matchup. Because they are going to go pretty fast. I think they would probably be able to beat us if I tried to plan for Swindler's Den. I think they would just win before we'd be able to win. So I need to focus on playing... I need to focus on playing a lot of... I actually don't even know how we win, I'm gonna be honest. I'm trying to think it through in my mind. I don't think I don't think we can win against this deck. Risky Venture is good. Like this is a good this is a good starter card. I think we saved this to play with Mirai, right? I don't think we want to play that until Mirai's on board. I'm just gonna play Formula. Maybe we can find like a good unit. Jack. There we go. Okay. So we try to copy Evil K and then copy coins so we go infinite. That is a good point, actually. With Swindler's Den, you could legitimately guaranteed just go infinite. If you copy Evil K, and you copy coins, and you just keep refilling man- Yeah, that actually- That's a fair point. <laughs> I didn't realize you could legitimately just go infinite. Warning into Angel. Yeah, we've, we've got- we've got some good starts here. The question is just how fast is this guy going to hit lethal? This is pretty slow. Like, so far this is not that bad. But I have a feeling things are about to get a lot scarier. <laughs> Something tells me things are about to get bloody. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, I mean, we're not burning a card. That's good. Dark and Lodestone. Okay, so he's hitting for six if he open attacks. That's fine. Maybe seven, maybe eight if he has a buff. This deck plays Pale Cascade, right? Let me look it up really quick. I'm looking up the list. It has to play Pale Cascade. I can't go I can't go for a venture that is too risky here. I think we just hit this. I think we have to mitigate some damage. We gotta just go for like a hopefully guaranteed kill. <laughs> this is the build water special for you. Bro. That's not cool. <laughs> That's not a very nice unit of you to play. 
Okay. Um, that's only 14 damage. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> okay, so we're playing Mirai, and we are literally just purely relying on can I find Caustic Rift? And I, it, he actually probably just wins with Burn at this point. I'm down to three. I might need like three of Caustic Rift. I don't even know. How do we How do we beat this deck? How do we beat this deck? What in the world? This is like more damage than I would... I, I literally... I, I No matter what I do, I just lose here. He, I died a warning shot. I'm time tricking. Do we have Caustic Rift? Please, I need it. I need it. I need it. Caustic Rift, please. Oh, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. I mean, dude. I'm insane. I'm insane. Do we, do we actually, I don't think we can play it this turn, can I? I play it next turn. I can't play this turn. I don't even have enough mana. Play the three drop? Nah. Nah, we just, oh wait, but he could buff out a range next turn. I actually have to strike here just to get another trigger for powder kegs. Get this to four, five, I need this to do six. Because he can buff his unit's HP to 6 next turn. So, in the event that he probably does, I think he will. Because he has double Esmus, he's going to go 6. Yeah, okay. I need to play this now. Oh, that level's Jack. That's kind of hype. Yeah, we coin now. And now when I put Riff on stack, it'll add one final keg, 6 damage to everything. And as long as I don't make the classic mistake of playing Warning Shot first, <laughs> then we're good. Any fellow, any fellow, uh, any fellow mischievous Mariah players accidentally just drop a little warning shot? One extra powder keg, why not? You know, just like drag it out there and then watch all your powder kegs disappear into the wind. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's what you get. That's what you get. Deserved. You cannot argue that was not deserved. Uh, now the question is just how do I hit lethal? Because this is only what? 6, 8, 11. Oh no, we hit lethal like every time. I'll play warning shot this turn. I actually don't even care. It's probably not correct, but I just want the coins. I'm just going for coins. I can go wider. It's just more damage. This has got to be correct. Yeah, and this, this buffs Jack. This is definitely lethal. This is just lethal by far. <laughs> All right. And as long as he... I mean, there's no way he top decks a Mystic Shot blowback. That that just does not happen. I don't believe in it. He's got too many dang elusives in this deck. This is, this is an elusive. I guarantee it. Another top deck elusive. GG's. The undefeated coin printer strikes again. Uh, all right. I mean, I think the game plan for this for this game is pretty clear. Looks pretty rock solid to me. I think I understand what we're doing here. Just maybe like another early game card would be nice, or an evil K. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I do like. I kind of wish we just every game had a one drop to slap this on. That is the one thing that I feel like might improve this deck. Is just making it a little less expensive, but... I truly don't know what to cut. Am I cutting Risky Venture? There we go. Hey, <laughs> we found it. Our one drop to slap this on. It's beautiful. Another one drop to slap this on. <laughs> Look at that. And he even... He's, he passes turn three. It's so kind. It's so kind of this this young lad. Try try putting a pocket picker. Yeah, that's true. Actually, if we had a if we had a pocket picker here, could have curved out a little bit more nicely. You know, that's all right. Can't be too greedy. Um, I real I do like risky venture with 
BB. This combination feels feels like we're onto something. Nerf Siren Song again. I agree. Like maybe just maybe just delete it. Am I crazy to, to suggest that maybe just like deleting Siren Song would be a good idea? I just feel like maybe just undo button would be the move. I just I don't know. Personally, I feel like I feel like it would just be a good idea. I will go for this. This is probably going to be on his Evelyn or on something big. I just my, not giving something overwhelm and deleting a husk is going to slow him down decently. I need to start stacking coins so I can print. So I'll just commit this this turn. If he attacks, I will obviously block to just get another coin for free. It's fine. Busy tonight. And yeah, the, I mean, the name of the game is just let's print some coins, baby. Getting warmer. It's not that complicated. <laughs> Uh, block here. This is probably going to die to like a future caustic riff with mischievous Mirai, so we're good there. Uh, and we're at almost five coins. Again, five coins is I think when we start shuffling. I'll open attack. It'll be our final coin. We'll shuffle. We'll just pop off. I I believe this is absolutely worth losing coral creatures. Just for a free coin, it's got to be it. This is it, baby. This is it. <laughs> I think people are just being kids over a dead card outside Evelyn Dex. I mean, here's the thing. Like, let's be honest. Like you are. I, I almost agree with you, but let's be honest. Did Evelyn Dex really need another way to make husks? Did they really need that? No. So the only point of Siren Song is six mana, give all husks plus one plus one. In my opinion, that's a little overpowered. Just like slightly too overpowered. I'm not a big fan of that personally, but I don't know. It's not that bad. I think I think it's it's a lot better now that it's six mana. It's definitely like very unplayable in non Evelyn decks, but it's like even in Evelyn decks, why does it need to exist? It's kind of how I feel. Do we, do we ever K coin K? No, we could. We could actually do that and we could we could go infinite. You got to understand what you're doing. I don't know. I still don't know that I have it like solved in my head, but we probably should just go for it and like see how it works. We shuffle K and we shuffle coins and we just go insane. Mind if I slip into something a little more painful? Okay, so. I'm going to drop Mich Mischievous... <laughs> Mischievous Mirai. Going to get this coin stack a little bit higher before we play second K. I will drop a free one drop here. Just to like... Deal slightly less... Or get slightly less dam damage dealt to me. And then I'm sure he will probably pull this powder keg in for free. So this is just a free blocker. Which I'm cool with. We should be playing Swindler's Den on his next attack, I believe. Can we go infinite? I don't think we can go infinite next turn. Busy tonight. I think the odds of us bricking hand are slightly too good. Harder. Okay. Do you know who I am? I don't think he knows who I am. Also, wait, yeah, wait, does he know who I am? Hold on. He is, he is, he's taking his Evelyn like very low here against a mischievous Mirai. Does he know who I am? I don't know if he knows who I am. You need to not brick? Yeah, I think, I think the goal here is we're going to time trick. See if I can find one of my uh, coins. So this becomes like 10. And then we evil imperfectionist on that. Station Archivist. This would do it. I think this actually might allow us to go infinite this turn, potentially. Let's um let's see if we can hit it. Coin, please. Let's go! Oh wait, but I can't shuffle this now. Oh. So I have to shuffle next turn, then coin, then switch. So we have to survive his next attack. Which we can with caustic probably. Like, let's be honest, his entire board basically just died. <laughs> it's the cost, dude. It's only going to deal two at the moment. 
He doesn't have lethal. I'm going to pass. It's actually very good for me if he open attacks next turn because he doesn't have lethal. We're chilling. We're actually... Yeah, we just win. We actually do just win. Also, he burnt a, a husk, so that's great. Mischievous Mariah is very good for, for stalling. I think this is core to the deck as well. This has got to be like one of the main parts of the deck because it helps us win the game and it also helps us stall early game. Mid game. Unless it's... Unless it's dead. <laughs> then I guess it doesn't do any of that. All right. I mean, that was a little unexpected. I'm going to be honest. Did not, did not see six mana obliterate before open attacking coming this turn, but I guess that's good for me, question mark. Yeah, no, no, we're fine. We're actually, I know you're saying that syntax, like we're not fine, but we're legitimately fine. The amount of 11 mana coins I have in my deck now is just, should be good enough to, <laughs> to hopefully carry me through the game. No hate spike? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what's happening with this guy. The way, the way this game has been played is definitely suboptimal. I think if he, I mean, if he lets us, we pass until next turn. Probably should have barnacled here, to be fair. I would probably barnacle on this. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> do I, do I coin this turn? Maybe I should coin this turn. Let's maybe just like take less damage. Would that be a good idea? It's not time. It's not time to coin yet. It's not time to coin yet. I can still coin if I need to. I, if he plays another unit, I'll coin and I'll, I'll play something else. He doesn't have lethal. That's all that matters is he doesn't have lethal. I will hit lethal next turn. That's that is the truth, right? Might be dead. Uh, you haven't seen you haven't seen me play this deck. If you think we might be dead, <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. Six HP is insane. The fact that he thinks he can go down to. 3 HP is a little less insane, but that's we're fine. We're still fine. So, okay. He had Hate Spike the entire time. You're telling me he had Hate Spike. <laughs> he chose not to play it to cancel my cost. Interesting. Interesting. Um, Alright. You know, we just play Swindler's Den and we go insane. What is my max mana right now? 9 plus 3... So 12. So I play this. Then I play Barnacles. And then I play Coin. And we start going off the hook. Insane. I'll actually just Coin now. I think it's correct to Coin now, isn't it? Den last, so no wasted cards. I kind of like draw, though. I think we want to draw as much. Because, listen, my deck is 34 cards. I want to find Coins. I'm going to need to start drawing now. So every card I play drawing is the way to go, I think. I think I need as much draw as I can possibly get my hands on. That was the only scenario where, like, that was not the correct play. <laughs> is if I top, if I literally top deck a coin, that coin essentially just got burnt because it's already full refilling mana. But that's fine. I think we want to save time trick for when I have no coin so that I can find a coin. Okay, refill full mana. Draw one, another barnacles. All right. Um, let's, let's see if we can find Jack. I want to get Jack on board as soon as I possibly can. Knuckles, Knuckles is okay. Formula is really good. I think we really need formula here. Clockling is not the worst, but I like, oh, okay. We can shuffle more coins. Let's go. I'm a formula first. Cause if we find a coin, I want to, I want to evil and perfectionist on that coin. No, that didn't make sense. It was actually... I should have... I had a better chance of... Alright, we're fine. <laughs> we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be just fine. Something tells me we're probably still gonna win this game, even if I made some subpar plays. <laughs> I do have Siggy... Uh... Okay, I do have significantly less coins in hand all of a sudden, though. Significantly less coins in deck, I should say. I'm just... Ah, uh, oh, that was so bad. That was a bad top deck. That was not a great top deck. Because now I can't shuffle this. I wanted to shuffle my 11 mana. I just burnt two coin stacks. Now I just won't be able to shuffle them. We got Jack, though. 
Jack would have been lethal this turn if I if he I mean I guess he had sunburst, so it's a good thing that Jack didn't get sunburst. Um okay. And yeah, now now our goal is just to find more coins. So I guess we'll play Clockling. See if we can find a coin off that. There we go. I just went with Jack this turn. <laughs> Alright, GG's. <laughs> this is actually this is stupid, man. There's like basically no thought required to win with this deck. <laughs> Station Archivist is the GOAT, by the way. If you didn't know, Station Archivist do be the GOAT. BB? Yeah, we could actually, we could we could maybe wipe his board here. It's not like I need to, but like, I could. I could if I wanted to. Let's, let's just get BB on board, sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, Alright. My, my hand's actually full. Like, what do I do now? There we go. Okay, so now I can shuffle that with Imperfectionist. Wait, why can I... Wait. There we go. Okay, it wasn't letting me target the coin. I mean, we obviously win this turn, but like... Now we even more win this turn, you know? <laughs> this will be nerfed simply because it is basically a hostage deck. Yeah, it's true. Um, I mean, let's let's see if we can find like one of those fabled eleven mana coins, shall we? Oh, oh wait, that's not an eleven. Did I not shuffle an eleven mana coin? Maybe I shuffled a five. Hey, hey there's the fabled eleven mana coin. <laughs> wait, do I burn? Oh, I burned the rally guy. No, that's so sad. Anyways, don't mill. I'm not gonna mill. Don't be ridiculous. How would I mill? <laughs> I would never mill. <laughs> uh, I mean... I feel like we do have a little bit of hand management problems now that every card draws one. Like, I don't even get the coin from this. Honestly, we could cut Mischievous Mirai. Mirai, Mirai seems useless in this deck. Knuckle is definitely the move. I think any rally is the move. Barkeep would be funny as well. <laughs> I do want to try Barkeep with this deck. Uh, coin slow nerf. I I think what they need to do to fix this is they actually have to do grapplers nerf. Grapplers nerf that he keeps advocating for would fix this deck. It would make this deck unplayable. Which is basically it works like pack your bags. When you play a coin, set the cost of all other coins everywhere to one. Because then like all the coins we shuffled would that we find in their deck would just be one coin. The fact that you can shuffle a coin and it keeps its value is what's broken. Coins need to be instanced. Yeah, if that's if that's what you want to call it, sure. We can call it that. Oh man. I mean, yeah, this just this is a little overkill, I'm gonna be honest. Wasn't this deck possible pre-patch? Oh yeah. I mean I still I still absolutely hold to the fact. I believe this is just an immutable fact about LOR. There are always decks that are meta that people just haven't thought of. Every single meta, there are just decks that don't get built just simply because people don't think of them. This is one of them. Like, this could have been meta absolutely. Like, multiple metas ago. Is it better now? Yeah. Like, Angel getting buffed is nice. I haven't played Angel at all this game, I don't think. But, like... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I think we got to figure out an alternate win con besides Jack. Because if Jack is not here, how do we win? But... I mean, Jack's here, so we don't have to think about that this game. <laughs> Obviously, my Jack could have gotten a lot bigger, but I think he probably left. That's how a card game should be. I agree. I hundred, I hundred percent agree. GG's. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what makes card games so fun to me. It feels like there's always infinite decks you could potentially build. This is one of them. This is one of those infinite decks. <laughs>